Welcome back to Farm Sim 22. I do hope your day is going well as you drop in on the channel today. Well, we've got through a few things. Uh, I've got us into July so that we can actually get on with, uh, with some harvesting and get some flower under production. Uh, we finished off those spray with spraying contracts and all that jazz. And we've actually got our grasses growing well now, both the field grass. And just the normal grass, there, that huge grass field we've got now. Uh, we'll go up to 23 first. We'll do the oats first. Get that done. And then we can work our way down to the wheat and get the wheat done. So the field grass, of course, I've never actually harvested that before. I th as far as I understand, you can do it with a combine harvester and get a grain off it or do the traditional stuff that was just mowing it but we'll see I'll have a looky looky that that should be okay about there well the other thing is uh, just while I'm thinking about it I don't always look but we said we wanted a bigger lime spreader so if we go into this here no not that there <laughs> go into entirely the right menu uh, there is just the thing we want actually in the sales now so we'll have one of them mind you it's 68th what if i put an extension on it oh it doesn't add much to it does it in fact it doesn't get any more expensive does it no it doesn't oh that's all right then yeah well we'll have that with an extension thanks oh we've had it delivered as well there you go it says having to go to the shop to get it <coughs> But we what we saved on buying it, that will. We can sell the other one off, take that back down to the shop later. Mind you, we don't even take it to the shop either. So money is not an objective necessarily in this. The money's there to help us do what we want. We caught the header trail then. Money's not the objective in this, so... Uh, do we need bales off here? Uh, no, we'll do bales near a home. We do need bales, because we want to get cows. Right, connect up. Come on, connect, that's it. Nope, something's not connected. Like I say, every combine is different. Some of them, you have to put the cables on. Some you don't. This is obviously the one way we do. That's it. Right, that's working. Right, just check swath is off. Yes, yeah, swath is off. get it onto the field and then we can get a course play underway but before we do that uh, get the right window not that one not that one somewhere here it says about swathing it's not there is it it's under this one here we go straw swath headlands disabled deactivated that's it we don't want them doing it either so uh press that and go for that and find where we are just over here so create a job whoops no we don't want to draw custom field thank you create me a job thank you field work cp field position right where you are uh two headlands yes please Generate me a course. Thank you. That looks okay. Uh, close that and start a job. And they're off nicely now and hopefully they shouldn't be doing a swath. No, they're not. So, meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> we can grab this. So, yeah, this is going to really start to shoving the productions on now. So, I don't know where it's delivered that. Uh, oh, it's there. Our oh, new spreader. It's dropped it off in the middle of the yard. I said we will have to sell off the other one because it's not needed. Get this down to the end of the field first. Don't know if they're going to get all the way around or not. Yeah, it, when the header lifted off, it clipped the clipped the trailer, which wasn't any good.
I know oats aren't as uh, high yielding as other crops, but I want to make sure we uh, keep them running. And also get the, uh, the flower production underway. I was just doing the thumbnail as ever. <laughs> oh look, they're going to watch us. It's probably got kids in the car who are excited by combine harvesters and want to see what's going on. Oh yeah, we have to keep keep away from this, don't we? Because it's it doesn't reach into the uh, trailer as it clips the trailer. Oh look, a tree. Oh joy. We'll take some of it off before then, eh? That's it. Watch the tree. That's the way. I'm watching them guys. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we actually serviced the combine as well before it. Uh, there was no damages on it, but it uh, showed it was ready for a, an inspection, so it's now fully galvanised till next year. 12 months. Come on, catch up. That's it. Emptying in lovely now. So, according to the top of the screen, we've got 15%. Um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's 1% different. So, we'll get pretty much a full trailer out of here. Just stop that. I'm just going to watch the combine on the corner. Make sure they make that corner all right. And that tree being there. I noticed when I was fertilising our big new uh, grass field that, in actual fact, there's a lot of because of the undulations in it. I'm just thinking the mowers might actually miss what they're supposed to do, but we'll see. It's such a big field; it's not going to matter too much, right? So fertilizer spreaders. So we've got this one now that holds 18,000 liters. That one only holds 14, but they've got double wheels. I didn't tell them about it, and we can sell that. Yes, thank you. That grass field's that big that we might actually carve it up at some time and put some more greenhouses in there. Got to wait for the combine to come back around again now, but look, see, ready to harvest. Yield bonus plus 98%. That's what we like. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Uh, the sheep haven't produced a great deal of wool, but we've still got wool to deal with. Right, both tractors are uh, up to full muster as well. When's this one due for sorting? Three months, that's a while off yet. Now, the other thing is, I've noticed that uh, when I do the damage inspection thing, I have to reset the vehicle after it's finished. don't know if that happens with other people on other maps, but it happens, well, it happens on every map I do it on. When the inspection's finished and everything's done, I can't drive the tractor away at all. Literally, I have to uh, 
I have to reset it somewhere and then uh, I can drive it. Can't can't do anything with it where it is. But that's okay. It's I've sent a message to the to King Mods who developed it. All quiet. Yes, we need lots of bales now. Need to tidy out some of these sheds. Because we're going to put bales in there. Uh, put these in the garage for now. What would I call the garage? Garage is where we kind of mend things in the UK. So I think they're all garages. In the UK, there's, uh, the garage is where you put your car. So and The garage is also where you go to get servicing done. That's why I call this the garage. Just keeping an eye on the combine. Uh, I think I was... I don't think it was in this game. Was it? It might have been one of the maps I was running through, but the thing I hadn't realised about... Oh no, that doesn't belong to this. The thing I hadn't realised with um, course plate is that the combine, if the header pipe or if the outflow pipe is in the wrong place that's not that either <laughs> if the outflow pipe's on the wrong side it'll back out of the crop and give you enough room to get the trail in I thought that was absolutely denking I was on another map and thought oh crimes are gonna have to back it out the out of the actual crop but no it did it itself which I thought was highly wonderful So these must fix on here then yep they do i'm gonna leave these outside for the time being so i can really sort my sheds out as to where i want everything i'll put them well out of the way how's the combine doing 53 percent. that's okay this is so that once we start doing uh, the wheat harvest we can then got space for bales It's got a strange noise engine, you know? it's probably true to the actual tractor itself, but it sound a bit weird in cab, it sounds more electronic than diesel. It's gonna leave that there for now, it's not staying there permanently. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, 61%. <clears throat> Get them emptied off. Steady with that outflow pack, I want it breaking. This is where I hope I don't lose the uh, combine now. Oh, got in his way, nearly. Move across. That's it. That's lovely, that can wait there for that to do that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, that's all sorted, that's all done. That's all tidied out there. Where's the bale spike? We've got a bale spike, sure we have. And what have I done with, oh I know it is, probably down the other end where we dropped those. We dropped off the bale, uh, bales from the field, yeah that's where it is, that's okay. I opened the gates because I'd nipped in to see the sheep and this can be cut again and that's going to get ploughed in then literally that was going to be a good part of the grass field but uh, no they got foods okay see a pallet in a bit but I'll find something else to do with them so they're going to do their thing now they're going to shoot off any second now you watch this they'll go bombing off ready to get there you go we we'll have to do their up and down thing. So what I do folks, I'm just going to throw in a jump cut. 
just while we get the first trailer load and then you can see he's getting down to the grain mill and getting flour underway. See you in a more. And we're back. As you'll see we've not got a trailer load but it's such a big field and this is such a big trailer. We're not going to get anything else put into this if we don't get some of this down to the grain mill. I've marked it just to uh, make sure I dump it in the right place now. So make sure we get some productions underway. These are such big fields <coughs> that we're, uh, that's why we're having to throw jump cuts in and time lapses and whatnot. Otherwise, it's uh, this could take us three or four episodes to get this done in uh, real time. This at least kind of moves us on now. I think I can get to it by going. I go down this one. Yep, I can nip down this one. It's a car behind me trying to get past. Yep, that's us. Sorry, lady. Look where you're walking. Oh, you're going to walk right across the front of me again now, are you? Well done, you. That's it. Off you go. Not be doing that again in a hurry. So there it goes. Productions. I wish I could learn to press the right buttons. Productions. Oat flour. Uh, oh, is it active already? Oh, it says deactivate, so it must be active. Right, so, selling, that's it. So when it gets to its proper thingamabub, it will start selling. I, I think it's going to take a fair old while to actually process all this lot. Outcoming, nope. Outcoming, nope. Well, there is, but it's a long way off. So I don't think it does it that quickly, or at least last time I did flower production on another map. Didn't seem to take didn't seem to take it quite a while to do it. But oat flower you get more flower out actually. I know it says fifteen, you get nineteen back, whereas uh, wheat is only five to four. But that's selling and it's created eight litres already. And we've got I don't know how much oh we can get loads in, look at that. We get loads of flour in there, so we might look at doing oil next time. Get uh, get canola planted. And again, the reason I just sell this is that much of it that we could spend time waiting for the best price and all that a lot, but let's get it moved. Where's the combine up to? He's he's only got 33% in it. Not a big yielding crop. And then we've got to start redoing this field. Does it need ploughing? It shouldn't need ploughing, I don't think, should it? Zoom out a bit. Come back down the road. Nope. Doesn't need lime. Just needs fertilising. Doesn't even need cultivating. That's interesting. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, needs uh, needs cultivating to get a seed bed in. We're not going to start that though until we've got at least this field finished. So, again, just to move things on a bit, we'll just throw in a bit of a time lapse and get some of this field done and dusted. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride.
So, as I say, very big fields. I don't just want to jump through them all. But we've got 26% in the trailer now, so it's, that was nearly a combine load, so we're talking about at least three combine loads to uh, get the next lot done, next trailer load done. Uh, wheat field wise, I think I'm pretty certain I've got it in my head right. Yeah, we've only three, three smaller fields to do, so that this this is the biggest job. And what I might do is I might crack off the uh, two smaller ones, that, and then come back to do 22. And we'll probably bail 22. I'm not, I don't think I need that many bales, so we'll probably bail 22. Do that on screen. Probably try and set the. Uh, The bale of following the combine on course play. That should be interesting to watch. There's so little in the uh, combine now, it's not worth taking that bit off at the moment. What was interesting was, and I don't know if this is always the case, but it actually tells me I'm doing beans. I've never spotted that before in the combines actual screen just there behind the joystick it says beans it knows we're doing oh no it doesn't know we're doing beans does it <laughs> shut up <laughs> I just I thought what do you mean it's doing beans it's not doing beans I thought oh that's clever it's doing soybeans but we're not doing soybeans are we doing oh sorry bang the mic <laughs> we're not doing beans doing oats man oats So yeah, we've been at this job probably about half an hour now, something like that. We're still not even halfway through this field, but it is a really big field. I thought at least we got a really good cracking harvest off. And I have decided once field grass is taken off our little field over at 36, we are going to stick potatoes. I've, I've seen on other YouTubers, uh, I've seen some small potato harvesting stuff so we'll have a look at that and I've got some uh, tater harvesting round you go Yeah, I'd love to show you this bit where the combine, if you've not used course player before, where the combine gets to a point where it's full and it has to back out the crop so that you can get to the overflow pipe. Absolutely brilliant. Like I said, I learnt it by accident. I was kind of driving back to the field on one of my maps to uh, offload the combine. I thought, oh, you know, you know, that faff of pulling out the crop and oh, blah, de, blah, de, blah. And then it suddenly started backing up. I thought, where's it going? Then he put the whole pipe out and he just parked up so I could. Then when I'd offloaded and backed away with the trailer, they went straight back to where they'd been in the crop. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, if you've not used course play, I know I used to be a bit worried about it, but wouldn't do without it now. It's, uh, it's a very hands, a piece of kit. It's only 50% now. The wheat will be different. The wheat will really kind of push it on. It'll be interesting. I know we'll have, we will have harvest, uh, harvest, process some of the oats. Interesting to see what we get uh, off the wheat as opposed to that. Because I know the fields are nowhere near as big. But, well, once you make half a third of that field. Yeah, perhaps uh, didn't realise how big this field was when I decided to have a crack at it. One of the smaller fields, we might put some more greenhouses in actually. Because we can get such big crops off here. Like I said, I think we might go for canola next time. We could always leave one of the other fields fallow. We don't have to plant absolutely everything. But glancing at the clock, I think we've kept you long enough. Ladies and gentle persons, I'll finish this field off screen, get some of the wheat out of the way. Then we can look at doing some 
at harvesting and sunbailing. Thanks for dropping in. Do all the YouTube stuff, and we will. Catch you later.